It is like this for mile after mile. Flattened trees lining the tracks leading to the coastal communities. The worst affected areas are the most inaccessible. In this village, people are starting to return now the storm has passed. As they gather, they check to make sure. And on the roads, Pileen flipped everything out of her path. India rain lashed the states of Andhra Pradesh and Odisha on the eastern coast of India. Cyclone Hudhud wrecked everything that stood in its way. Hundreds of trees were uprooted and many buildings damaged by the high winds in Vishakhapatnam. Thousands of personnel of the National Disaster Response Force and other government agencies helped evacuate an estimated half a million people into safe shelters and relief centers. The Indian Navy and Coast Guards were put on standby while the police and years the eastern coast of India has been battered by cyclones. The government has since put evacuation procedures in place after the disaster of the suicide bomb. are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. people who are living even without food. I, I quit my job and I started feeding all these people from 2002. I cut their hair, I give them a shave, I give them bath. What is the ultimate purpose of life is to give. Start giving. 
See the joy of giving. If you can't feed a hundred people, then feed just one, Mother Teresa. They are our brothers and sisters. They are our own people. Those lepers, those dying, those hungry, those naked. They want to feel that freedom of poverty that comes of choice. We want to know, to understand the poor, we must know what is poverty. And that's why I call it freedom of poverty. We are free to love. No one has ever become poor by giving. Annie Frank Love and compassion are necessities, not luxuries. Without them, humanity cannot survive. Dalai Lama That peace of mind also is to come, firstly, from heartiness. That, I think, reduce ill feeling towards others and also reduce this sort of distrust. I always open an animal. Therefore, friendship is very essential. Friendship comes trust. Humanity is everywhere. Humanity has many forms. Humanity is love. Humanity is beautiful. Let us tell you a story. Do you know why do geese fly as a group? Do you know why do they take this formation? Each goose flaps its wings, creates an uplift for the birds that follow. By flying in this formation, the whole flock adds 70% greater flying range than if each bird flew alone. When a goose falls out of formation, it suddenly feels the drag and resistance of flying alone. It then quickly moves back into formation to take advantage of the lifting power of the bird in front of it. When the lead goose tires, it rotates back into the formation and another goose flies to the point position. The geese flying in formation honk to encourage those up front to keep up their speed. When a goose gets sick or wounded and falls, two geese follow it down to help and protect it. They say with it until it dies or is able to fly again, then they catch up with the flock or launch with another formation. Why don't we act like geese and stand with each other, use our talents and skills to work like a team, make a formation with those who go the same way we want, take turns with leadership and help one another, encourage each one of us to step forward and always help each other in sickness and health? Humanity is everywhere. Humanity is everywhere. Humanity is in Jacksonville community. The Jacksonville community has always come together to support social and cultural growth as well as humanitarian aid. Once again, we are here to support such a cause. Thank you for joining us on this continued journey.